lift up your don't sit down yet lift up your hands we want to worship him we want to give him praise this morning the fourth month in the year 2024 he kept me and you you and I up to today you are awesome in this place mighty God you, you are awesome in
enemy don't want you to be alive. But because it's God over your life and your destiny, it determines your destiny. Enemy, witches, and wizards cannot determine it. You are God. You, you are, are Lord. Lord. See what I saw here this morning. You will worship him. When we are worshiping this morning, you know Sunday is not a prophecy. But I saw an angel descend. To my own surprise, everyone cheer in this house is white. And they are spreading white clothes on his chair while we are sitting on it and i was asking that is why i'm going in prison prison the lord said the cloth the white cloth that we sat on number one he uses to cure diseases in our life as we sat on it he said our place either in our matrimonial home either in our workplace either in this country will not be empty and he asked me to declare to everyone when you are coming next week sunday come with white handkerchief that no one have used just put it on your chair and start to sit on it at the end of the service he asked me to decree take that anchor to your workplace put it on your chair and sit on it in your husband's house, that your marriage is shaking, the Lord says you sit on it for seven good days. Before the end of this month, you will see what God will do in each one of us life here. That is the simple instruction. Father, we thank you this afternoon. We give you all the glory. We honor you. We adore you once again for what you have perfected in our means for the breakthrough for the doors for the healing for the deliverance for success for liberty for peace for removing remote reproach from us father accept our thanks in jesus name every evil evil arrow you send it back to the sender lord we say thank you as we approach you today oh lord let your name be glorified holy spirit accept our thanksgiving accept our praises in return let there be showers of blessing and let your name alone be glorified father every agenda and the and the and the plans of the devil against us today against today's service we nullify in the name of jesus lord let your light shine for in jesus name we have prayed praise the lord Put your hands together, be seated. If your hand, if you don't have, if you don't have any wound in your hand, put your hands together. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for this month, the month of April, and we thank God for what He has started on Wednesday in our midst. I can see God in action in this house, and I can see that He's moving mightily in this house. Either the enemies like it or not, our God is able. But before we go into our message this morning, I want to welcome my son in the Lord, Pastor Dami Samson. Though in December last year I said, God release him. And I was smiling. But his spirit is with us. Very early in the midnight to the around 2 a.m., he said he could not sleep. He texted me, said, Daddy, I'm coming to worship in new life. 
And when I'm praying this morning, very early also I text him. I say, you are my son, you're welcome. And I send a prayer to him. And he replied, he said, Amen. You can see him that in the flesh is not here. In spirit, he, he did not know that he, his destiny connected with Baba Joshua. The Lord will open his eyes one day. Praise the Lord. Also, we have a man of God that has been with us since Friday and will still be in our midst on Saturday, Ulua Dasimi. If you are blessed on Friday, put your hands together for him. Um, he's a man of God. I'm seeing him for the first time on Friday by one of my son also, Pastor Sunday, uh, Prophet Sunday Fatoyi. How many of us know him? So he introduced him to me that this is my father in the Lord that is in America. I was in Nigeria by then when he called me that um, he has a father in the Lord that is in America that we just branch in UK. He said, Daddy, I want this man of God to minister in the new life. I say with all pleasure. And we thank God he was with us on Friday. And he will be with us on Saturday, Oluwa Dasimi. And the theme of that Oluwa Dasimi, I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss it. If you hear the theme, you will cancel your ship that day. Can I tell you? Oluwama Jeki Ogun Bori Mi. Oluwama Jeki Ogun Bori Mi. That is the theme on Saturday. So please don't miss it. It shall be well with us. He is a man of God. He is a bishop. At the same time, he is a prophet indeed. Bishop Oluwadara Keshinro from City of Great Destiny Church, Abule Egba Agege. Please, let's welcome the man of God to our midst. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. He shall be well with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, if I didn't greet my wife when I greet people on the altar, I will not eat best food today. So help me welcome our mommy, the Lord, Mommy Olayemi Joshua. God bless you, my shall be well with you. Praise the Lord. You know, I don't like to raise my wife or appreciate my wife outside there. Any man of God that is doing it, you are, you are putting your, your wife in the heart of the people, which is a wizard. But why I just say we should celebrate her? He stood by me. If I say she stood by me, she stood by me. I won't say more than that. Praise God. Very quickly, because after past, uh, Bishop suppo supposed to minister today, but I myself, I forgot on Friday that today is our first Thanksgiving. The expectation is that Bishop will come today, we turn today into revival. But when I realized that today is a Thanksgiving day, I asked to call him in his hotel that, Daddy, today is not a revival day, that we have only one Sunday in a month to appreciate God. And he understands, he said, people of God must dance. That is what he said. But after our Thanksgiving, I will not waste time. It's going to lead us for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, prayer, what God has laid in, in, in his heart before we cross to Saturday Ulua Dasimi. So please bear with us today. But I will make my uh, ministration briefly. I have seven points. Maybe I will mention two or three so that uh, we will not waste our time. So we can, talk, we can put the rest to uh, May 1st Sunday. Appreciation. Modupe Onibu Ore Babagbo. That is the topic. Appreciation. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. 
Do you ever appreciate God at all? Say, neighbor, today, appreciate him. The theme of today is appreciation. 1 Samuel 1, 24 to 28, we are going to read together. 1 Samuel 1, verse 24 to 28 is the story of Anna. Anna cried to God as me, you and I used to cry to God, and God answered her prayer. Just to summarize the, the story so that you know why he appreciated God. After a while, she conceived and she bore a son. When she bore this, a son, they call his name Samuel. And after, in verse 24 to 28, he brought Samuel to the house, uh, to the house of God to appreciate what God has done. Do we understand the story now? So let's go. We read it loud and clear. Now when she has warned him, she took him up with her with three builds, one half of flour, and a skin of wine, and brought him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. Then they slaughtered a bull and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as your soul live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood by you here praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore, I also have led him to the Lord. As long as he live, he shall be led to the Lord, so they worship the Lord there. Many of us, we don't appreciate God. Many of us, when we are coming to testify, we come with empty-handed or empty hand. If it is one pound, when you are giving thanks or testify, you lay it on the altar. If you look at number 29 or number 26 and 27, and she said, no, give me 25. Let me start from 25. No, 24, give me 24. Now when she had win him, she took him up with her. With what? With what? Sacrifice. Not empty hand. To the house of God. With her testimony. Three builds. One what? And and brought him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh, and the children was young, and they slaughtered. Anna appreciate what God have done for her. Some people will say, I'm testifying today, the testimony is not yet done. When it's done, I will bring it fully. Who told you it's not done? So we come to the house of God, you don't know how to testify to what God has done for you. That is why we title it Appreciation. Anna appreciate God because God have granted her a hard desire. Many of us, God have done a lot of things for us, but we didn't appreciate. Many a times the hand of God is upon me, but we don't appreciate. Our sister testified here from Scotland to England. The young girl is, a, is an agent of the darkness. They, they place him on that, on that plane because they want to suck blood. It's an agent. Our mother may not know. And let me tell you, if the plane crash, the girl will escape. Because he has an assignment from the devil. So we have to appreciate him at any time, all the time. You appreciate God. I have seven key points why we must appreciate him, but maybe I will mention three because they came with scriptures. And I don't want to waste our time. I want our daddy and the Lord to bless us. Praise God. We must appreciate God 
for loving us. For what? We must appreciate God for loving us. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world and he gave us his only begotten son that whoever believed in him should not perish but who have what? Because he loved us and we believe in his son, we have life. And Jesus said, if you are in me, even though you die, you will live. Number one point that we must appreciate him because he loves us. He did not make you a tree or a wood or stone or water. He did not make you a sand that we used to be building house. He loves us. Number two, no, that is why Psalm 91 verse 14, Psalm 91 verse 14 says, because he has set his love upon me, you will appreciate it because he set his love upon us. Therefore, he will deliver me Therefore, it will, that is why he delivered that sister from the satanic agenda. Amen. Amen. Because he set his love upon us, therefore he will deliver us. Not only deliver, he will set us on where? I. Because he loves us. Because he has no my name. Did God know your name? That is my question. Appreciation. You appreciate him. I've rolled in on this altar this morning. When Pastor Mike was leading the minister at this, I don't want him to stop that uh, praise and worship. Because the power came down. I think I told Brother Femi, and I will tell you now, when I was praying, the Lord said to me, I think I told my wife also, the Lord said to me I should do a thanksgiving that will make people to dance and people should eat because he had visited this church. Yeah. And when I look at calendar, my birthday is falling on the 2nd of June. That is Sunday. And what we are going to do, after the Thanksgiving, the next is party there. And a musician will be on stand. We will eat. That is what God asks us to do. I'm telling you. So, ready for June 2nd. God said we should give thanks, we should dance, we should celebrate him. I'm telling you the truth. Why? Because we appreciate because he loves us. John 14, verse 23. In John 14, verse 23, the Bible says, Jesus answered and said to him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. Because we keep his, his word, he loves us. That is why you are alive. That is why I'm alive. And we will come to him and what? Make our home with him. You carry Jesus. Say, I carry Jesus. Because he loves me. I appreciate him now. Number two, why we must appreciate is... He make his glory. He make us to declare his glory on earth. He make us to declare what? His glory on earth. How? In Psalm 8, verse 4 to 9. In Psalm 8, verse 4. It says, what is man that you are mindful of him? Who am I? Who are you? But he's mindful of us. We must appreciate him. He recognizes us. 
He separates us from the world. What is a man that will might of him and the son of man that will visit him? Time will not number in our dream will visit us. Time will not number will send his prophet to us. Time will not number if we, if we will receive revelation, we will receive vision. Time will not number will not know it will rescue us from the attack of the enemy. Are you listening to me? For you have made him a little lower than the angel. Don't you know that you are special in the hand of God than the angel? How many of you know that? You don't read your Bible, that is why you don't understand. God recognizes you more than the angel. That is why Paul said, we are going to judge who? Angel. So God recognizes you than the angel. For you have made me a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned me with what? Glory and honor. Appreciate him. Just wave your hands to him. He made you to reveal his glory on earth. Yes? You have made me to have dominion. Over what? Over the works of your hands. You have put all things under my feet. Sir! Witches and wizards, they are under my feet. Everything that God has created, they are under what? Under my feet. So why can't you appreciate him? Demons, we are afraid of you. Because they are under your feet. You control them. Money is under your feet. Everything that God created, they are under your feet. Are you listening to me? All sheep and what? Uh huh. Even the beasts of the feed, the witches and the wizards, are, they are beasts. Don't be afraid of them. They are under your feet. That is why you must appreciate it. Why the witches and the wizards that your father saw did not kill you till now? Because he has set his love upon you. The bears of the air and the fish of the sea that pass through the path of the sea. One to go. Our excellence is your name in all appreciation. Number three, then I will stop here because of time. He made you to become a living being. Genesis 2, verse 7. Genesis 2, verse 7. We will start this part 2 in May by the special grace of God. He made us to become a living being. Brethren, before God created human being, there are a lot of things that existed, isn't it? Why can't you, God, cause them to be a living being? The tree, the fruit, the water, whatever. But when it comes to us, because he loves us, come, my son, come. After separating us from the earth, what he did is, he makes you and him to become one. You are equal with him, isn't it? from his nostril to your nose. So you swallow Jesus and you become a living being. I appreciate him this morning. I appreciate him this morning. Say, Daddy, I appreciate you for your loving kindness towards me. Brethren, just appreciate. Is it the way you want to appreciate him? Oh, my God. Is it the way you want to appreciate him? Because he made you to be a living being. He breathed through his nose to your nose and you become a living being. He recognize you. He make you to become what he wants you to become. Just wave your hands. Glorify his name. Magnify him today. Let's read. Just stand up there. I'm rounding up. And the Lord God formed man of the dust. <laughs> the same dust that you are stepping on. The same dust that they used to build house. He don't make you, he don't allow bricklayer to make you a sand. 
He don't allow them to mix you with cement, the same dust. He don't allow you, the, the potter, to make you a pot from the same sand. He recognizes you. I have risen to praise that Lord. I have a reason to praise that. Don't worry, choir, don't worry. Don't worry. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise. Do you have a reason to praise the Lord? Do you have a reason to praise the Lord in your life? Oh, I have a reason. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breath into his nutrients, the breath of life. And man became a living being. He breathed into our nutrients and we become a living being. No wonder that David said in Psalm 8, verse 3 and 4, verse 3 and 4, Psalm 8. We are going to read clean and clear. Let's go. When I consider your heavens, amen, amen. Many of us here, we have traveled, isn't it? We have entered plane one way or the other. And you like to sit at the, by the glass, as the sister said. You will see what is happening in the, in the sky. When you enter into another planet, you will see different type of things, isn't it? David said, let's go. When I consider your heaven, the work of your fingers, the moon and the star, which you have ordained, what is a man that will have mindful of him and the son of man that will visit him? You must appreciate him because he has given you power and authority, even though to speak to the moon and the, and, the, and the star, isn't it? You can command the sun to stand still, sir. Yes or no? Joshua have done it. You can command it not to, not, not to fall. Elijah have done it. You can change farming within a tinkle of a day. Elisha have done it. So you have the power, you have the authority. What is a man? that will be mindful of him and the son of man that will visit him. Begin to appreciate him right now. Begin, the way you know you can appreciate this God, appreciate him. Appreciate him. Take a song and, and sing to him this afternoon. Choir, you can join me now. Just appreciate him. Tell him what you know about him. Declare his name, declare his glory. Worship him from the dead of your heart. Bless, us, bless his holy name this, this afternoon. Give him praise. 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 Give him honor. Honor him. Adore him. Bless his holy name because you are alive. Thank this Lord Jesus because you are alive. Thank you for his promise upon your life. Thank you for what he has been done. Thank you for what he's doing right now. Give him praise, Lord Jesus, and we worship you. Brethren, appreciate him for your life. Thank him because he breathed the breath of life in you. Bless his holy name this afternoon. Worship him and honor him. Adore him. We have a reason to, to, to praise him. We have a reason to glorify his name. Choir, are you ready for us? Are you ready for us? Worship him. Amen. What you are going to do, choir, just 10 minutes, look at the time. Before we take our offering, then before we go into full dancing, we want to appreciate God. Anyhow, we want to appreciate him. A, a musician says, appreciation, modupe, onibu ore, because the man appreciate God going to 80 is still on the stage because he always appreciate God going to 80 is 
Is he jumping and dancing? Why can't you appreciate him this afternoon? Hallelujah. Choir, are you ready? You Ten minutes. Good and your mercy is forever.
Just a king the world, my sorrow when I am free. Oh, I got me hallelujah, Buru. I got me hallelujah, Parah. Because of Jesus, I be with them, I shakara, they do. Double, double, they have a blessing, my ear, they receive. together as a clapping offering of appreciation put your hands together let the devil hear your clapping let your enemy hear your clapping appreciate him with your clapping appreciate him let the heaven and earth hear your clapping thank you jesus blessed be the holy name for in jesus name we have appreciate